Hi guys, it's Richard James, your coach from Lift Up, with another free workout for you to try at home uh, during lockdown. Today it is booty up, it is going to be three rounds, 10 squats, 10 lunges, 10 band exercises for your glutes. We have already done our warm up, which means we are about ready to go. There's a separate video for that. Make sure you watch that at home before you start. Obviously, I'm with Sam today. There might be some variations. If you haven't done Booty Up before, it's a timer-based workout. We use an app called Seconds Pro. It's really easy to follow, though. The best thing you can do is just kind of follow our rhythm, keep time with us. All right, I'm going to press go on the timer, and then we're going to jump in the deep end with 10 squat variations. Remember, every exercise lasts 40 seconds. If there's one that you can't quite do, feel free to stop and wait for the next one, because in total, there's 30 legs and bum-based exercise within the next 30 minutes. All right, two seconds and we're going to be off. Okay, the dinger's gone. That means it's 20 seconds to go. The first squat that we're going to be doing is alternating heel lift. As we squat, we alternate the heel lift at the top. Should be fine? Okay, remember it's going to last 40 seconds. Off we go. Okay, so I've got my feet just at about shoulder width, perhaps even a little bit wider on this one. And just lifting your heel puts the weight actually on the opposite leg, making that leg work a little bit harder. And Sam's definitely beating me on the depth at the moment. <laughs> We're trying to shoot for good depth so we can wake up our glutes and our hamstrings. 10 seconds, that dinger means. Lovely, that's the first one taken care of. Second one, we're gonna go in a little V position. We're gonna lift our heels to make sure our heels are touching. Knees are pointing out and we're gonna squat whilst our heels are constantly lifted in that position. Bring a little action to our calves as well, ready? In. Keeping the heels lifted, just try and touch them at the bottom as well so the heels are constantly together. Knees are out, hips are open. You should be able to get some good depth with this squat and you'll really feel that burning as you get lower and lower. Look, and we're just trying to have a rhythm. When we all exercise, you tend to exhale with the contraction, so I've got a big exhale as I'm coming up. Keeping the heels lifted. Good, like that. Okay, so we're gonna go sumo turn this time. So we've got a wide stance, toes and knees are pointing out. We sink and we turn, pivoting that leg, facing the opposite way. So, wide position, in. Sink, turn, lovely. Notice how I come up, engage, turn. There we go. And we live in a 3D world. We should be learning to exercise in three dimensions too. We're working through various planes of motion. You'll feel this on different parts of your legs as we turn with the sumos. Always keeping depth, regulating your breathing. Beautiful. Okay, as we've been opposite now, we're gonna come in nice and tight, and we're gonna go up on the third. Ski position, one, two, up on the third. One, two, up on the third, all right? Ready? In. One, two, up on the third. I'm going to my toes this time. Two, up on the third. One, two, maybe I'm doing one extra. One, two, there we go. One, two, good. As I come right up onto my toes, Squeeze my calf. Whew. 
Lovely. That was a burner, that one. We're going to do a little step in a narrow V now. Step forward. When we say narrow V, we've got a little gap between our heels. Our toes are out and our knees are following. We should be able to get some real depth. We'll do it as a half and one as well, which means there's a bounce. Ready? Forward. Half. Up. Lovely. Back we go. Trying to use our kinesthetic awareness, our understanding of our body, to step evenly, keep the same gap, heels glued to the floor, toes pointed out, knees following the line of the toes. In this position really, you should be able to get your bum parallel, if not like I do, below the knees. A little pulse, I think. Bum, squeeze that bum. Lovely. Look good? All right. We're gonna go step in, ski, step, ski. Side, ski, side, ski. All right? Ready? Ready? This way first. Ski in the middle. Feet together, lovely. Be hard on yourself at home, keep yourself with that depth. Another one of those exercises where I'm having to think about making sure I'm stepping evenly. As with all squats, you try to get your tummy in tight, your chest is always high. Trying not to lean forward with it, I'm not placing too much pressure on that lower back by engaging the core, avoiding the tilt. All right, cool, feeling good. It's our first jumpy one. We're gonna do a sink, sink, click. Sam's gonna do a sink, sink, up. Follow me. It's a bouncy one. When we click, we click the heels together. Sink, sink, click. And Sam is taking away the jump which you can do at home, either if you are 23 weeks pregnant last time, or you want to make it a little bit easier, take away the bounce, impact on your knees, and clicking those heels together. We call this one sink, sink, click. Lovely, we're gonna to go to the wall, do we go to the wider one? We're gonna to go to the wall, tough, uh, narrow, alternate the heel lifts just like we did that exercise. Yeah, sink down, two, try to be parallel, lift one foot, alternate. And those heels are moving. Try and not, uh, let my hips come away from the wall. Trying to use my core to keep myself back against the wall. Quite hard when you're on carpet. We'll pretend we do that on purpose and it's extra stimulation. Lovely, that was tough on that. Burning. Okay, back to sumo position. This time we're going to have heels lifted constantly. Toes out, knees out, heels lifted. Steady rhythm, don't rush this. When you go to the sumo position, you have quite a bit of width. Thinking about these extra parts of your legs which tend to be forgotten in workouts a lot of people are quad dominant i'm all up on my toes which gets my calves involved as well i'm thinking catch with my bum 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 squeeze that's what i'm thinking if you haven't got the ability to get this sort of depth 
We do offer another class, which we're providing free during lockdown, called floor work, which will really help open up those hips and make those sort of squats possible for you. All right, so we're here. We're holding on to our toes. Got a bit of width on our feet. Trying to stand up whilst constantly holding on to our toes. It's the last one. Your feet is hitting the back of your legs. Hold them toes. And there we go. It's a good one to finish. This is the last squat. And all I'm doing is trying to straighten those legs. Feeling that work through the back of my legs. Sinking my bum down low enough. No, let go of those toes. Nearly there now. And again, if you're struggling with standing, with touching your toes like so, hey, floor work. We record a new one every week online for you. That's the squat round finished. 10 squat exercises. We take roughly 60 seconds rest. And then we're gonna hit 10 lots of lunges, all right? We'll grab drinks, 60 seconds rest. Well done. It was actually. Remember these workouts are free for you on our YouTube channel. There's lots of other content. We've got Escalate, which is the main event, which is all the hit interval based stuff. Heart and lungs, sweat fest. We've got Kilo, which is total body toning stuff. So you'll need a pair of dumbbells. Booty up, which is this one. What a waste, which is tummy and cardio. If you're looking to get a bit of shape in your tummy. And then we've got floor work, it's probably my favorite one actually, which is stretch and mobility, um, real treat your body time, that sort of workout. All right, I'm feeling good, hopefully you're at home. I'm gonna press go on the dinger, I'm gonna move to our lunge round or single leg stuff, all right? Feeling good, Sam? Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. I always seem to be careful this one. All right, okay, so I'm lifting one heel to try and push me in a single leg position. I'm just gonna have my uh, ball of my foot rested on the floor, but I'm lifting that. I'm gonna try and essentially do a single leg squat with one heel lifted. All right, keep it lifted the whole time. Ready? In. When we're lifting that leg, we're putting the pressure on one leg. Really keeping yourself Right high on your toes. The pressure is really on that leg that's flat on the floor as I nearly fall over. Losing my balance. Again, always striving to get my bum low. I'm thinking about my bum. It's crazy, but you've got to think about the muscle that you want to target. It always works. Lovely, changing sides. We talk about a lot about making the exercise work for you rather than working the exercise. And that means, you know, if you have areas of weaknesses, those are the things you should focus on, not kind of cheat the exercise to make it work for you, you know? Ready, in. So if you really struggle with the depth and find yourself chopping the depth to then go a bit quicker, that's kind of the wrong route really. You want to almost reduce the tempo, reduce the reps until you can get the depth. And then as you become more comfortable with the depth, that's when you start ramping up a bit. As long as it's true to the exercise. Very important. Keeping that heel lifted. Keeping that depth. Try not to lean forward. Your body will naturally want to pull you forward. It's your core, your posture, that natural arch in the back. Okay, it's nice and simple this one. We're going back lunge, knee lift, all right? Back lunge, knee lift. Keep it in one side, same leg the whole time. It's a back lunge. Okay, off we go. Back lunge, knee lift. When I'm lunging backwards, what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the angles. You see I've got 90 degrees on both knees. My back foot, my heel isn't on the floor. 
just the ball of my feet. Chest is upright, torso tight. Keeping it controlled. This is another exercise that's quite easy to work the exercise and forget the points, which defeats the purpose of the exercise, you know. All right, changing legs, same key points, regulate your breathing, nice big lunge, 90 degrees in your elbows, landing on the ball of your foot rather than your heel, up tall. Shuffle this way so I don't kick the step. Just try to, if you're losing your balance, you keep your eyes on a spot on the floor or on the wall. As long as it doesn't cause you to lean forward, that's good. Torso is tight and tall. Keeping it controlled. Delightful. Lateral pulse now. So both feet are forward. It's really important not to turn and put the weight through your thigh. Both feet forward. Inside leg is straight. And that way we're really ensuring the insides are working. Pulse. Feet facing forward. Sink. Now I'm trying to keep my torso upright as much as possible. Oh, it's hard slipping on the carpet. Yeah. There we go. Small movements, keeping that legs, feet forward. Important. Make sure we're working the right part of our leg. This leg is locked straight. Oh, slipping. It's an extra challenge, that little slime. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Like that. That was a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. Carpet definitely made it more challenging. Changing sides. Same things, right? Torso's upright. Core's engaged. Feet are forward. Feet are forward. Don't cheat the exercise. We're there now. Lovely. Feet forward, little pulses. So tempting to turn this front foot and push like that, which makes it too quite heavy for this exercise, you know. Booty up is renowned for giving a balanced workout across your legs. Trying to target insides of your leg with this pulse. An extra kudos to you if you're doing it with socks on or carpet, because this is tough. Lovely, okay. Keeping our feet in the same position rather than a traveling curtsy that we do sometimes. Back foot, or one foot goes behind, keeping the heel just off the floor. We're curtsying in that position, trying to let the knees go wide. By doing so, we're gonna wake up the glute medes as well as insides and outsides. You'll feel it quite close to your knees. Notice how my feet are close together, but my knees are opening, making room for my hips and my bum. And also making sure I'm activating my glutes because I'm low, making sure those insides and outsides of my legs are really firing. Woo, falling over. Nice, wobbly that one. Feeling good with it though. Changing sides as the lactic acid starts to build in your legs. Just keep them moving. Changing sides, feet close, chest high, knees go wide. Ready? Yeah, we are. Lovely. It's another one of those challenging on some people's, including mine, coordination, balance, you know, all those what we call synergistic muscles that 
basically means supporting muscles through any exercise that are firing to keep you balanced. Magic, creating the shape in your legs, you know? Too often a lot when people do a leg workout, they're very quad dominant. Which is these front muscles here. There are lots of other muscles in your legs. Lovely. Okay, we're hitting. I like that one a lot. <laughs> we're hitting and up on the third lunge position. Down, down, third. Big stance. Ready? All of your feet on the floor. 90, 90, lift. When I say 90, 90, what I'm thinking about is my knees in this position are at 90 degrees. Keeping those two really quite low, which is opening up my hips here. Lovely. Feeling that. Dogs are barking at the sheep. Oh, lovely. Ooh, about that, changing sides. We're about there now. Big change. True to the exercise, remembering what the exercise is trying to achieve. Yeah? Yeah, me too. Now remember, we're doing it live for lots of reasons, so you can see the errors, you can see that even people that are fairly active struggle with it, so it's okay to struggle, that's the message we want to show, but also so, the pressure's on us really to do it live, but you can hit pause, you can practice the exercise, get better at it, return to it. Or just be brave and follow, or try to follow us for the whole session. <laughs> Lovely, that is single leg or lunge round taken care of. Just grab your water, shake it off, a bit of lactic acid then. That's what you feel when you feel that burn, it's a bit of lactic acid. A burn on jelly legs. So about 60 seconds and we're going to go. We've got ourselves some bands. So at home, Feel free to, well feel free, you should have, grab yourself some brands for this one, uh, you can get them cheap online. Um, failing that, you can do most of these exercises without a band as well. Um, but today we're going to be using bands, they come in different colours, colours tend to dictate the resistance, we're using quite a high resistance here, uh, black bands. For the first few exercises, or eight exercises, actually they're going to be over your laces, so if you're wearing shoes, took them over your laces. Um, just off the top of your feet um, and this is going to be mostly a glute based round all right so I'm going to stick them on my laces or my feet and then I'm going to press go for 20 seconds the first one we're going to be in a kneeling position doing kickbacks so if I kind of go at this angle and demo with a band on we're going to be doing kickbacks all right okay that means there's 20 seconds to go I'm putting myself in a kneeling position. I've got one foot, the ball of my foot is glued to the floor, and I'm kicking back, all right? I'm trying not to worry about kicking too high, and I'm definitely trying not to tilt my pelvis, that anterior tilt you really want to try and avoid. You do that by sticking your tummy in, off you go. And this is great for your glutes. You're kicking back, thinking, squeeze my bum. That's what I'm thinking back, my tummy's engaged, which flattens my back a little bit, takes away too much of the tilt, and if you're really one of the sort of people that struggles with lower back pain or some hip complex issues, you know, a lot of the times it's to do with lack of glute activation during exercise, and really you want to try and make sure these exercises are working correctly for you, so you need to do them correctly. All right, so I'm gonna to stick to the same leg now. I'm gonna have a straight leg. I'm at my foot out almost straight. 
Tiny little pulses, thinking contract, release, contract, release on my glutes, all right? Same knee in position, same leg is back, same foot is down. Three, two, one. I've got my foot back, and this time I've got little pulses. Lovely. Think bum, think bum. You might also, it's quite common to feel this in your balance inside. So the knee that's on the floor, it almost feels like this in the side of your hips. That's actually probably more than likely your glute mead, which is balancing you. Yeah, it's one of those synergistic muscles that are working in this exercise to balance you or opposing muscles. Straight leg, little pulses. Lovely. Okay, now I'm going to change sides. So I'm going to go back to the first one, which is the kickback. Remembering those key things, tummy engage, avoiding the pelvic tilt, kicking back, not necessarily high, but kick back. Glutes, glutes, glutes. Ready? Off we go. Kicking back. There we go. As with most exercises, exhale with the contraction. Thinking about my bum, so I'm squeezing my bum. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze the bum as you go. You can do this exercise without a band. Any of these exercises actually without a band. So. Exercise number two on this side, straight leg, little pulses, contract, release, contract, release, contract, release. That's what you're thinking with your bum, slightly quicker than that, as you're just pulsing your leg up and down. All right? Nearly there. Two, go. Little bum activation, there we go. Oh, I am feeling that now in my glute mean on this side as well, which is balancing, counteracting the resistance that's pulling me in the opposite direction. As I contract and release my left bum cheek, pushing through that little burn. Lovely, this time we're going to lie on our sides. Going back to the first leg on top, all right? On the side, first leg on top. My bottom foot is slightly further forward, but staying on the floor. My top foot is slightly further back and pointed down. As I'm pulsing, I feel that here, we're off. Okay, top foot, toes slightly pointed down. Top foot slightly further back than my bottom foot. Bottom foot is glued to the floor. I'm thinking about here, that's where I'm putting my mind to. What kind of glute need area? I'm gonna have a nice burn after a little while. Again, you can do this without a band. Nice burn. Nice burn. <laughs> you don't burn. I like this one. Definitely a burn. Lovely, same leg. Tuck yourself up into a tight position, and I'm going to kick down with that leg now. You can't quite see that on camera, I'll shuffle back. I'm going to kick down, keeping the bottom leg as tight as I can. Use your hand to grab it. Ready? Kick down and squeeze your bum. Kick down. Lovely again, I'm feeling that here. Moving through my glutes as I move down. Kicking down, bottom leg is tight and high. Squeezing my bum, I'm thinking squeeze, 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 squeeze now. That's what I'm thinking. You should by now be having a nice burn on your bum. Lovely, as we change sides, 
We'll go back to the first one and remember those coaching points. Simple as back foot further back, toes slightly pointed down. Back foot further back, slow, slow slightly pointed down the toes. Ready? Woo! Burning already. Lovely. Got my toes down on the top. I've got my foot slightly further back than my bottom one. And this is burning and I'm already 10 seconds in. Whew. Well, only 10 seconds in. Whew. You can do this without a band, but it really is beneficial to have a band on. Pick them up for a couple of quid on eBay. A very worthwhile investment, I'd say, to really burn that. Tuck it in, use your hand, hold that leg in, and we're kicking down. There's no substitute for squats and deadlifts and RDLs, but in terms of shaping your bum, but this is really, it's up there after those to help you get that shape, you know. You certainly walk away feeling like you've had a glute workout. I should probably throw glute bridges in there as well as Epic exercises for your bum. These are fantastic complementary exercises to a good squat routine, a good lunge routine. Especially if you're not comfortable with jumping into a squat cage. On one of these workouts you'll have great shapely legs, a nice peachy bum. Lovely, there's two left, I'm moving the band up to my knees now. Little clams, I've got the band just over the top of my knees, above my knees. I'm lying on my side, tucked in, slight bend, feet stay together, and as the feet stay together, I just open my knees, keeping the bottom one on the floor. All right, so that little open and close motion. Nice squeeze at the top as well. It's two left with this, so stay with it. Not long to go. Just using your feet staying together on the floor to pivot. And that extra squeeze at the top is that added time and attention and a real focus on your bottom as you squeeze. Clams. Brutal. Lovely, we flip over for the last one, which is on the other side. Feet stay touching the whole time. Squeeze at the top. Final round, final exercise. 40 seconds and we're done. Ready? You can grab yourself a seconds pro timer online on your phone. Not that we make any money from telling you that, but they're pretty good. If you want us to send you the time that we've created for this class, that's cool. Just drop us a message. I'm thinking squeeze my bum as I'm starting to burn. Ooh, past halfway. Yeah. And Sam, okay. 23 weeks pregnant. Like yeah, me too. All right, cool. Boxed off. Booty up. Give it a go. Legs work out. Hopefully, you're going to feel fantastic from it. Um, well done. And I will see you at the next workout.